with the top three spots within 12 points of each other, it's safe to say we could not have asked for a better season. Match one, game one. After their amazing romp last week, the Pizzonis were looking to keep the streak going, but the other teams weren't having it. Pizzonis finished the night with only a fifth place finish and two MIAs, giving them a total of zero points for the night. Several players came on strong to stop the Pizzonis. Not surprisingly, one of them was the Wolf, Jacob Marsland, with another 11 kill night. He wraps up the first game, leading the Predators to another quadruple win for the season. Match 1, Game 2. Another player coming on strong was Dylan Cruitt. As the saying goes, if you can't score, play physical. Dylan literally tried to make his presence felt in the octagon. However, he got a little excessive and it ended up costing him, incurring not only a penalty, but an elimination at the hands of Rubes. We've also missed Bree Doust in the octagon this season. This girl is fearless, taking on Parker and Nick single-handedly. Parker does finish her and Gabby off though, giving the Predators another double win for the night. They advance 44 points in the standings. Match 2, Game 1. Jacob Vitone of the Nobodies had a strong night with 6 kills to his credit. He led the Nobodies to their first W of the season. Match 2, Game 2. The Beasts not only earned their first win of the season this week, but it was a double to boot. The ability to stay in the octagon finally pays off for Porter. Christian Morato finished off Devin Knapp, giving the Beasts an 18-point surge in the standings. Match 3, Game 1. Brandon Roosh goes on a tear, eliminating five people this game. Ian puts the nails in the coffin, though, eliminating Jonathan Albertus for the Swagger's triple win. Match 3, Game 2. Brandon's hops are not high enough to get away from Mason this game. Mason eliminates him early. However, it did not stop the Swaggers. Dakota Craig holds on to the end and eliminates Kayla Defoe, giving the hashtag YOLO swag back-to-back -back wins. They advance 30 points this week. Bonus round. The controversy continues. Here is what everyone was talking about. The question is, did it hit his foot? From the ref's angle, we can see the bounce just before the foot, and it does not go sideways until Evan gets his hand on it. From the sky cam, we see the bounce again, and it does appear to just miss his foot. As a result, Evan wins his fourth straight bonus round. The next question is, will he sweep the entire season? Going into the final week of the season, here is what is at stake. Number one, the season standings. The top four spots are definitely within reach of each other. A good week for any of these teams could mean the league championship. Not only that, but spots five through nine are within 13 points of each other. A good week for any of these teams could change their playoff seeding drastically. Number two, as already mentioned, playoff seeding. How you end the season will determine who you will face in the early rounds of the playoffs. This is important as you PMBLers chase the highly coveted Rafiki Cup. Number three, the awards. The League MVP Award, the Top Assassin Award, the Michael Feldhacker Award, and the Judas Award, among others, are all up for grabs. New this season to the awards list, Most Improved Player. This will compare a player's performance to last season. Also, the Most Outstanding Rookie. This will go to a first-time athlete that wowed the socks off of everyone. Finally, along with the awards, the PMBL will be naming its first ever All-Star team. Six players, based on their performance throughout the season, will have the honor of being picked for this combined award. Needless to say, a lot is riding on this fifth and final week of regular season play, which just so happens to be this Friday. Match 1, Apex Predators, LZRDB, the Nobodies, and the Followers. Match 2, Hashtag YOLO Swag, Sock Monkeys, Pink Fluffy Unicorns, and the Boom Shakalakas. Match 3, Pizzonis on Fuego, the Beasts, Team Punk. Ladies and gentlemen, you better bring some super glue this week, because hearts and dreams are about to be broken.